A number G is said to be geometric mean between two numbers A and B if A, G, B are in geometric progression. So it means given that given that if G is geometric mean geometric mean between A and B then A, G and B are in geometric progression. If they are in geometric progression then the ratio must be same when we divide second term by the first term or we divide third term by the second term. This means that G divided by A is same as B divided by G because this is definition of geometric progression. And now when we cross multiply this gives us G square equal to AB and if we take square root this means G is equal to G is equal to plus minus AB square root. So this is formula for finding geometric mean between two numbers A and B. If A is equal to for example example 1 if A is equal to number 2 and B is equal to 18 find find geometric mean geometric mean between A and B. If we are to find geometric mean between 2 and 18 then what would be geometric mean? We just learned formula for geometric mean is equal to plus minus AB square root. So if A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 18 then this geometric mean between 2 and 18 must be equal to 2 times 18 square root which is equal to plus minus 36 so 36 square root is equal to plus minus 6 therefore geometric mean is either 6 or it could be minus 6 so the geometric mean between 2 and 18 is 6 or minus 6. Both of these numbers could be geometric mean between the given numbers. If we find geometric mean between more than one geometric means between two numbers, so example 2 find three geometric means three geometric means between one by two and two. So in this case we will find three geometric means. For that purpose we will assume that G1, G2, G3 are three geometric means. Let G1, G2, G3 be three geometric means three geometric means between one by two and one by two and two then by definition then by definition what should happen is one by two G1 G2 G3 and 2 are in GP 
they must be in geometric progression. That's definition of geometric mean. If this is a geometric progression, then what is the first term? The first term is 1 by 2. Number of terms is 5. Last term in this geometric progression is 2. Therefore, a n or a 5 is equal to 2. And what we are interested in is finding the value for r. Since a n is equal to a r n minus 1, this means 2 is equal to 1 by 2 times r power 5 minus 1. This gives us 2 times 2 4 equal to r power 4 and if we take r equal to 4 power 1 by 4 then what will be value for this is equal to 2 power 2 power 1 by 4 that is equal to 2 power 2 times 1 by 4 this is equal to 2 power 1 by 2 which means this is 2 under root so if that is the case it could be it we are just taking the positive value thus the thus the value values of g1 g1 would be equal to the 1 by 2 time r 1 by 2 time r that is under root 2 so this would be the value for g1 and g2 would be equal to under root 2 over 2 time under root 2 one more time every time we want to find the next term we are going to multiply r because this was equal to a r this is equal to a r square and g3 is equal to so this must be equal to 1 then g3 is equal to a r cube this means this a is 1 by 2 into 2 times under root 2 that is r cube so this will be equal to under root 2 these are values of g1 g2 and g3 and now if we want to find out n geometric means between two given numbers a and b example 3 to find n geometric means between a and b let us consider let g1 g2 g3 and this way up to gn are n geometric means between a and the number b if that is the case then a g1 g2 g3 up to gn and b must make a geometric progression so they are in gp if this is a geometric progression then there are n geometric means and there are two more terms a in the start and b at the end making number of terms equal to n plus 2. So here a the first term is equal to a 
n the number of terms is n plus 2 the last term a n is equal to b and again we are interested in finding the value for r so we use a n is equal to a r n minus 1 this must give us b equal to a r power instead of n we have n plus 2 minus 1 this must give us b equal to a r power n plus 1 in order to find the value of r we need to divide both sides by a so r n plus 1 will give us a over b on the right side and taking n plus 1 root on both side we'll have r equal to a over b power 1 over n plus 1 now once we have the value for r then n geometric means thus n geometric means are given as g1 equal to a time r which is equal to a time a over b power 1 over n plus 1 and g2 which is equal to a r square is in fact a time a over b power 2 over n plus 1 and similarly g3 would be equal to a r cube which is equal to a time a over b power 3 over n plus 1 and if we continue like that here a n i mean g n g n is equal to this is g n that is a r n is equal to a time a over b power n over n plus 1 these are values of n geometric means between two numbers a and b.